Hey everyone, I'm Trevor and today we are at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge to go to Savvy's Workshop. We're gonna go in, build a lightsaber, and give you a review and see if it's worth it. So let's get going. And this area is Savvy's Workshop. There is literally no signage to tell you that it is Savvy's. This is just what it looks like. Um, right behind me here is Ronto Roasters. And then on the other side of this building, like over that way is um, Millennium Falcon. So that just gives you a little bit of spatial understanding of where this is. But we checked in with the cast member standing straight there ahead. And now we get in line and we wait for our turn to go inside. You do need advanced reservations to come here. Now the reservations don't really book up all that fast. I tried to see if I could get in a little earlier here today at about 12.30, my time is 2.10. I couldn't because it was all booked up, but the next available time was like 2.20. So it wasn't like it was sold out for today, even earlier today, but it does require a reservation. So if you want a specific time slot on a specific day, I do recommend booking that reservation ahead of time, but it's not something you have to super worry about running out real quick. So uh, here we have just some a look at some of the different lightsaber parts. So that top tour that you were looking at is going to be elemental nature, inspired by the elements in nature throughout the galaxy. All right. Second one, a bit more of a classic Jedi Order kind of look to it. That one is going to be peace and justice. Old Republic with protection and defense. And go power and control. Once we got up to the counter there, we chose which lightsaber type we wanted and paid for the service right there. And then they handed me this pretty cool pin that I have to wear, which indicates that I am a builder. So I get this, I'm assuming I get to keep this pin. And then they also handed us this green card. Uh, now, generally speaking, whenever you do this, it is just one builder and two additional people can come. Uh, but because we are a party of four and Benjamin is a minor, uh, they let all four of us go in. Something else I noticed is that the type of pin here indicates which type of lightsaber you're getting. So I'm getting power and control, which is the more Sith looking one. And this is like the logo or the appearance of it uh, on their map. So this badge also lets them know what type of lightsaber I've chosen. Each builder's gonna get their own build station. So as an observer, just kind of stand behind your builder to keep you safe in there. Run around, okay? Almost there. Perfect. With the stormtrooper activity outside, we had to make sure that everything was safe for your arrival. Now that you're here, take a look around. What do you think? Speechless, I know. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> looks like a lot of junk and clutter in here. You see, building a lightsaber is a work of art. It is a way for the builder to connect to the force. And the color of your crystal will determine the color of your lightsaber blade. And there are many colors in the galaxy that we have four for you to choose from. We'll begin with this one, the blue. Once held by his master, Obi-Wan Kenobi. His apprentice, Anakin Skywalker, green. Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, has to go to himself. And the legend, Luke Skywalker, violet, rare, and so beautiful. Once held by a master, Mace Windu. And the red, crystal of power. Darth Vader, Saad Ventress, Darth Sidious, and now, this is held by Kylo Ren. This time, the guys are bringing around the canisters of crystals for you to choose your very own. As you receive your crystal, please place on that green plane in front of you, as it's not quite stable. So it's kind of important. I know. Every step of our journey together is one. And you know everything you need? Explore, shall we? Feel free. You can pick them up if you like. In front of you, below the chassis. Bottom, and in the very end of your box, a set of activation plates to hold the bark upon you. Builders, are we ready to build? Yes. All right, let's build. Now, once inside that crystal is inside, you should see a glowing color that you chose. And you spin that crystal around, it should not fall out. <laughs> so I get two choices. I can either choose this, or I can choose this. Ah, there we go. Alright, for those of you ready, 
Uh -huh. Ah, see that? You can turn it on. Yeah, okay. Okay. So I can choose any of these four. And um, I'm probably going to go with... Is that the ones you want? Yeah. So push it on and twist. And push it on and twist. Huh? You picked one. Yeah, I know. Okay. I know. So the other one is this choice here. But I'm going to go with this, this right here. Where do I go with that one? That one matches. But that one... But I'm trying to decide. The other one. Yeah, no. Yes. Right here is your switch. In the moment Ben is going to ask you to push up to activate, push down to deactivate. This is very fun for me as a Star Wars fan. I'm like very giddy right now. <laughs> All right. Not gonna put any more holes in the ceiling, are you? No. <laughs> Amy just picked it up. It's pretty heavy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How heavy is it? Just be careful with it. Can I hold it? Yeah, you can hold it real quick. Just let him hold it. Can we turn it on? Oh, uh, right here. Turn it on, turn it on. I don't see the light. There's no light in it yet. Is that heavy? Mm -hmm. Okay, now okay, put it back. Put it back. Now, this is very important work. And takes a practice hand. As even the slightest mistake could cause some unexpected surprises. Now activate! Colors! <laughs> Raise your lightsabers! You built a lightsaber like the Jedi and said before you, the sparks. The colors! Raise your lightsabers high and proud! Congratulations, the bond is complete. It's been close. 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 They told me that for it best to fit into here, that I should take the spiky top off. So I can just unscrew it here and it won't affect the blade. Then I take this off and I take this and put it in the, the sheath and it'll just slide straight down. Now, if I want to get it out, it'll just slide right back out again. If I leave this on, it doesn't slide. So what they said to do was to just put it in there and then take this and put it in the top portion here and then zip it up. And now it's good for good for carrying. <laughs> so uh, I want to talk about that experience a little bit. Uh, you the, were geeking out. I was geeking out. It was the whole show an experience. Yeah. It was really, really fun, really oh, awesome. Oh my god, I thought it was more like that. That's why I was like, yeah. oh, like it must be a sad time. They did a good job with like. They all did. This stuff it was a phenomenal experience. I really enjoyed it. Amy was like, I don't know where she got it in her mind that we were making a plastic lightsaber. <laughs> this is not the cheapo plastic that you yeah, can buy in a gift be, shop. Like, oh. This is very good quality metal, uh, very heavy, very weighty. And uh, it's totally awesome. In the gift shop immediately to the right of the exit of Savvy's workshop, you can purchase other lightsabers. They do have like uh, more legacy hilts, Obi-Wan Kenobi, Count Dooku, Darth Vader, those sorts of hilts right there at the counter. We'll see if we can get some kyber crystals there too. I just asked inside to see what types of uh, accessories they have and they sell a stand in there, uh, a separate stand that you could put them on for $50. They sell a lightsaber belt clip, and then they sell different kyber crystal colors. They have these standard colors that you can get in the shop, the experience, which is gonna be red, purple, green, and blue, but they also have yellow and white in here as well. So those are different crystals that you can get 
inside the store. If you want to get the black one, it is a, I think he said like one in 50 chance when you buy a red crystal. So my recommendation is if you want to buy a, another color crystal is to get something like blue or green or purple down in the experience and then buy red up here if red is kind of the color that you ultimately want because that's what I want but I would like the chance to get the black, but I don't wanna buy two reds because that's just kind of pointless. So I just feel like if I would have chose a different color at first, then I could have bought a red here and still had that chance of getting a black. And there's Mando over here. Mando's got Grogu. I saw a bounty pop with your hollow on it. Oh. Didn't get the job though. Um, Just your lucky day. Right. So I'm back in my hotel at this point, and this is my first ever lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge. So of course, I wanted to know how to remove the blade just so I can mess around with the hilt. And I couldn't for the life of me figure it out. What you have to do is actually push down and then twist, and it will pop out just like that. Um, and then there are these little indents on it that help it go back into place. If you just take those and twist it until it falls down, then you can push down and twist again, and it will re-engage back in place. And there we go. Well, that's it for our time here today, checking out Savvy's workshop. I hope you enjoyed this video. I absolutely loved making it. Please hit the like and subscribe button for more Disneyland content. Drop a comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see here on the channel. Then click this video to keep watching, and we will see you again next time.